Welcome to Fuzzy Dragons, and in this video it is going to be part one of me using the Posca pencils that I swatched, uh, I don't know, last week, and making it a bird, coloring it a bird. Now the paper I'm coloring on it, uh, gosh, I can't remember which paper it is. It's around somewhere, I don't really know. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but, I am doing a blue highest... Uh, no, Hyacinth, is that how you say it? McCall? I'm, I don't really know how you're probably saying it wrong. But, and now this paper I have found doesn't take a lot of layers, and normally I don't mind that, but, you know, hey, layers of colored pencils, I should say. But maybe this paper doesn't take that many, not even a lot of shade, but that's okay. Um, anyway, I'll talk about the paper and the pencils later. So, I am using the gray pencil here to do the black beak, which, hey, why color more than you have to, you know? That's what I figured, so just kind of put the highlights and the gray and stuff rather than coloring the whole black beak. It's another advantage is using dark paper, I guess. I've been using color pencils since I was 13, 14. I am 41 now, so I guess do the math, I guess. I'll maybe put a number up if I remember. So it's a long time. That was like my first, I guess, not the first meat art supply I've used, but the first thing that I really kind of clicked with, we'll say, so I used it quite a lot, and I still do, I just, it takes forever to do, and that's the only thing that sucks about colored pencil, really, because it can take forever, something this size, and some paper that takes not a lot of layers, it's obviously quicker, paper like Stonehenge, which I hate, people with colored pencils swear by it, I personally hate it, um, <laughs> but it can take a lot, of, I mean, if I used, like, uh, Fisher paper, which I love, it's more of like a sanded paper. It doesn't take quite as long, but it does eat your pencils up because it is a sanded paper. And I said actually, I don't have any, but because it's not cheap. But you can use sandpaper. It works kind of the same. Actually, it works just exactly the same. And we have sandpaper because John has sent a lot of sandpaper. You know, maybe some of it's a bit rough, but he probably has some light, lighter stuff. Probably, pretty sure. If not, it's not expensive to get actual sandpaper. But, I have plans to more, do more colored pencil pieces on the ch channel. It's just, it might be like a month long, month of videos, like, because it can take a month or more sometimes to do a colored pencil piece. This one, not so long because, you know, it's on black and I'm sort of cheating, I guess, here, by not filling in. And I do use some other colored pencils. This is the Color Soft colored pencil, because... I figured I'm not following the scar everything, just use whatever's in the box to do a thing. So I thought, hey, I can use some other colors here. And I use color soft pencils. This is a white. I do end up using a bit few more, like oranges and reds, as you can see on the side there. Because they're, the ends are slightly different because they've got like a silver kind of end to them with a color dip on it. Now, the Posca pens. Pens, they're not pens, they're Posca pencils. <laughs> <laughs> I've got pens because I got because I went to look for my Posca pens the other day, so now I've got them. They're just sitting right there. Pencils are somewhere on the desk. The the markers are, you know, I can see them. So no, I'm like, anyway. <laughs> what was I? Oh yeah, no. Oh yeah, brush. This is a painter's brush. No, it's good for dust. Don't use your hands because you can smudge. If you lightly use a brush, it'll get rid of any kind of dust and stuff like that. Usually, don't push too hard because then you'll scratch the paper and you know that's completely pointless of using a brush. You can just use your hand, which don't, because then like I said, it streaks often. So I mean, now I'm working on the yellow parts of the bird, because there was a bit of yellow on this bird. Now, black paper and yellow, not the best mix usually, and it, it, yeah, it doesn't work, look, work right here. You can actually try putting white down before you put any yellows on it, but most black paper, they put in yellow and stuff, it doesn't really work because the black is so powerful and colored pencils by the nature of the medium are very transparent so it the black shows up underneath the yellow and sometimes that works for other colors but not so much for yellows and I should I mean I know that so why didn't I put white down begin with I forgot because it's been like over a year since I've done anything with colored pencils really or longer than that I think the last colored pencil thing I did was before college so that's seven years ago <laughs> I mean, I've used colored pencils since then, but nothing really like an actual piece and stuff. And this is just a test piece, kind of, so really it doesn't have to look perfect. It's just me trying to figure out what the pencils do on paper. 
and if I like the pencils. Now the pencils are quite soft. I'm not a big fan of soft pencils. I mean, Prismacolors are soft, and I've kind of gone away from using them because they break so freaking much. Um, I've gone to using like Polychromos, and I've got Luminance pencils, which are soft, but not as soft as these, and not as soft as Prismas. So it's kind of like a good mixture of both. But the only problem is they're not cheap. <laughs> So I only have like, I don't know, 12 or 13 of them. I actually don't remember how many I have of them. Maybe I'll do a piece just with the colors I have. Maybe yeah, that's a good thing, idea. Um, I'll do that in the future. So I do plan on doing more color pencil stuff. It's just because it takes a long time. This is sped up twice as much. So really, it's not as fast as... Oh, and my lovely pencil sharpener, which I got from Littles, I think. It's like a crank sharpener. And they're great. They were cheap. A couple quid or whatever. Like that. I can't remember. I have a few of them. Um, because they're cheap and you never know. There's like a couple upstairs, a couple downstairs. I'm not really sure where they all are. <laughs> but they're very handy. And if you're using colored pencils, they're great for colored pencils. Because you get a nice point on them and stuff. You can always use an electric sharpener, but they tend to eat the pencils. If you use like a... Like those typical metal sharpeners, they the blades can get dull on them. So you have to change them occasionally. And you can change them. People don't think you can, but you can. If you can find the little blades that go in them, you can change them. With the, the crank sharpeners, you do occasionally have to put a uh, graphite pencil through to them because the wax and oil from color pencils will build up on the, the sharpeners in them and then it doesn't, doesn't sharpen properly. But if you run a couple pencils through them, the graphite pencils, they work perfectly fine. There's a little tip, you know. Um, if, you're, if your crank hand sharpener's not working properly from after using the color pencils on it for a long time, run a graphite pencil through it. Not completely, you don't want to like eat your whole pencil up, but just a bit, you know, to... It helps clean out the, or just do it occasionally, and it help clean out the the sharpener part. I don't. It's probably called something, but I don't know what it's called because I'm not like a sharpener connoisseur or something like that. You know, I know what works for me. See, the yellow here could be brighter because this is a bright yellow I'm using on here. But like I said, because it's on black paper, it's not as bright as it could be because I didn't put a, even a light layer of white down beforehand because this is supposed to be just a test piece now. Like I said, the angle changed here because I'm trying to figure out what angle is the best to shoot. So I just moved the camera over to the side, which now that I know that looks works, but I'll just do that because that's easy enough. Just move the camera that way. I like how the beak looks here. It looks like a beak, <laughs> you know, in very simple marks and stuff. No shading, really, just light pressure and harder pressure. Now, like I said, the yellow here, eh, it might actually stand up more when I get the blue part of the bird down. I'm hoping, if not, well, then it doesn't really matter, because it's just a test piece, like I said. It doesn't really matter when it's a test piece. But, I guess I think, I, I mean, colored pencils is the one thing I can actually feel like I can do tutorials on, because I know my shit with the colored pencils. So, I will hope in the future be doing a few. Um, so, if you have any suggestions of what to do a tutorial on, animal-wise, or humans take longer, can do it. They just take a little bit longer. And... Vehicles, again, I can do it. I'm just not a big drawing vehicle fan, but I can do it if I have to. Uh, landscapes, even flowers. Um, what else could I do a tutorial on? Um, trying to think. What kinds of things you can tutorial on? Clothing, you know. That color, that I think I have enough knowledge uh, to do a tutorial. Graphic, like graphic, graphic design stuff, I can do that too. But colored pencils is more my thing, I think. So yeah. If you have any, you want me to color any, you know how to color anything in colored pencils, let me know, because I'll try to do it. You know, maybe I'll, you know, at, put Twitter and all this stuff and questions and, you know, colored pencils, because I, I, I know my stuff when it comes to colored pencils, so yeah. But this is what it looks like now. This is a photo, this isn't a scan, because I couldn't take it off the board to scan it, so it looks a little bit better in the scan probably than the photo. But you can see how patchy the yellow looks but that's my own fault and I know that and it's because I'm just doing a test run so yeah next will be me doing the blue of the bird I'm not doing a background because once again it's just a test piece if I was doing another piece I would probably do a background but I'm not because it's a test piece so is it me being lazy yes it is <laughs> but that's okay because like I said it's a test piece to see what the pencils do and yeah so please come back for part two which will be hopefully on Friday because this a little piece shouldn't take that long and thank you for seeing me ramble about colored pencils so like subscribe ring that little notification bell all the things we're supposed to say is you know good little youtubers leave a comment if you want you don't have to but it would be nice so yeah so if you have any suggestions about what you want to see me draw in colored pencils you can leave that below in the comments and i will try to do that and so yeah 
once again. Thank you. Okay, bye.